Hey guys, welcome back, and welcome to slightly less than normal organized chaos. Uh, what I'm making today is a box. This is my uh, Let's Resin box mold, and I'm going to be making it in sort of a Christmas theme, if you will. Uh, this is the bottom. This is the top. And in the bottom, I'm going to be mixing green, which I have mixed in uh, a little bit of my uh, May Spring colors uh, of shiny malachite and green pyromorphite. And then in the lid, I'm going to be using uh, my HTV Ront Scarlet color. Now the top, is, or excuse me, the bottom is 4.3 ounces, and the top is 3.6 ounces, so I mixed up 8 ounces total, just to give myself a little bit of wiggle room. So I'm going to mix these up, and we will go from there. I just had a thought. I know, you're thinking, what? More? Yes. Always. So to the green, I'm going to be adding a little bit of my uh, Chameleon Mica Powder in Interference Pine Green. Just a little bit, not much. She says. <laughs> and then in the top, I'm going to go with a little bit of Interference Gold. Just a little bit. All right, so these have been sitting for a while. Now, this is the first time that I've used this box. Just got it. So I'm interested to see how it works. It does come with the little um, wooden cages that go around it so your sides don't distend. Um, but it's a box. It has a lot of, you know, right angles and whatnot. So what I am going to do is I am going to spray it with a little bit of 99% alcohol just to try to um, encourage it to not have uh, as many bubbles get stuck in the corners. And I'm just going to spray the top and then the resin will sort of move things down. But we are going to have to keep an eye on it. So... I'm going to start with my red on the top. Give that a little time to move around in there. And much like with my heavily detailed molds, I am going to just fill it up a little bit, give it a little bit of a, of a tap, and encourage that to go down in without it being completely full, be adding to the top, I want to at least, and uh, that uh, will add something to it, and it is dried, it's not fresh, so I shouldn't have too many problems with it, but I want to try to embellish the pine itself, so I have a couple of ideas for that, so we will do that as our next step as soon as we get this done. Okay. Now, don't know if you can see it or not, but you'll notice that it's not, that they're not filled all the way to the top. Gotta fix that. But, I'm gonna fix it a little bit differently. So I'll be right back and I'll show you. Okay, so, <clears throat> pardon me, what I'm doing is I've got one of my silicone spatulas here, and I'm just encouraging 
resin to go down the sides and not so much be on the top, if that makes sense. Because this is eventually, when we flip it over, going to be the bottom. Alright, so there's green. Wipe off my spatula. My spatula. And you'll notice, or maybe you hadn't, but I will alert you to the fact that over to my left, <clears throat> I have an ounce and a half of resin that I have mixed in some HTV Rond Golden to. And what I'm going to do is pour that in. That do its thing. Mix with the green a little bit. Kind of a dirty pour, but not really. Alright, so now that we've got that done, I've got my little pokey silicone, uh, silicone tool. <clears throat> Sorry about my uh, voice this morning. But it's early. And I'm just going to go around because, again, box, right angles, and just try to encourage any bubbles that might be under that lid. And we all know that uh, resin does pretty much whatever the heck it wants to, so despite any pretty patterns or anything like that that I put in there, it's going to move itself around and it's going to decide what it wants to do all on its own. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to let it do its thing. All right. See you soon. So this has been sitting for about yeah, a couple hours or so. And what I have is some of my Flora Craft Diamond Dust. Now what this is, is this is actually crushed glass. So if you're going to use this, please be careful. It is glass. Let me get... Should have done this beforehand. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to get a little scoop and I'm going to go around and just sprinkle a little bit over my resin. Now the resin is tacky, uh, not set yet, but still very uh, able to hold on to things. So I'm just going to sprinkle some of my crushed glass over the lid because we want it to look snowy-ish, like, snow-like. And, you know, I'm in Colorado. It's been snowing pretty heavily for the past three days. Kind of sick of it, but so there's that. So we're gonna move this little guy back out of the way. Let him finish doing his little thing. So what I have here, let me move all this out of the way. What I have here is some ten of red balls <laughs> that I made out of UV resin. I'm going to pop these out. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And they do have a flat bottom. That's fine. It's going on a flat surface. So I'm not terribly concerned about the flat bottom. 
And what I'm going to do with these little guys, this is a paper cut. And what I'm going to do is go in to my paper cup with some of my Duraclear gloss varnish. Okay. And again, everything that I'm using is linked on my Amazon page, or not, uh, linked in the description. Most of them goes to my uh, my Amazon page that tells you exactly where you can get cool stuff like this yourself. So, and when you do that, it does support the channel and me. All proceeds go back into the channel. It's essentially all I'm doing. Just drop the balls into the varnish. Get those good and moist. <laughs> Sorry. I know a lot of people don't like that word, but hey. So in another little cup, I'm going to take my crushed glass and pour some of that in there. And what I'm doing is I'm not trying to grab a hold of them, I'm just scooping them out. Just using the tweezers as sort of a little holder. And then dropping them into the crushed glass. Why? Because dry things tend to stick to sticky things. Well, I can put that back in the container. And now that these are in there, And we have faux snow cover balls. Look at that. Now this does, it, it is kind of twofold here. One, it covers our holly berries is what they're going to be. I guess you can kind of figure that part out. Um, it covers our holly berries with glass, but it also will clump up some of those glass pieces into small lumps. And that will give us a look of snow drifts. Not just snowfall. So you can see I just I poured the, the rest of the Duraclair back into its little container. So while our little Red balls, the little holly berries, are drying, curing, whatever. Just want to make sure that I get them good and covered. There's my spatula. Oh, stop it. Sorry, it fell on the floor and I had to get it off of the wood floors, and it was still a little bit sticky, so it didn't want to come up. Put them on my little silicone mold so they have a place to dry. It gives them some air. And our last little friend here. And then as this dries, you can see it started to clump up a little bit. Sorry, let me adjust the camera here a little bit so it's a little easier to see because white glass and white cup under a bright light isn't real, isn't real easy to see sometimes. So there we have that. So I'm going to let that do its thing. 
wait for it to get a little clumpier. Just stop messing with it. And then we will spread it and our holly berries on there on the lid and then uh yeah next step is going to be embellishing something else so see you then and here is the aforementioned something else these are pine branches that have been drying so they are very brittle um, and are coming apart quite easily this one's got a little piece of sage attached to it uh, so since these are of a larger scale, and I don't have a lot of room here, uh, the room that, <laughs> the area that I have to work on is the size of a, a heat mat, uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what I work with uh, making my projects. It is literally the size of a, well, it's, it's a heat mat on top of a uh, Let's Resin uh, leveling table uh, or board whatever you want to call it. I've decided to pivot. Why? Because it's snowing cats and dogs outside, or penguins and polar bears, however you want to look at it. So I am just going to take off little sprigs of pine needles and place them around my sticky resin I'm not touching the resin don't worry I know some people just go ballistic when I do things with my hands it's fine folks but I know the dangers you don't have to remind me I am not allergic to resin. If you are, then you do whatever you need to do. Alright, so to stick everything down, I just have a little wooden skewer here that I'm just going to press. my needles down and if some of them stick up okay it's texture <laughs> don't worry I'm gonna be going over everything with a uh, coat of clear lacquer anyway so put some of the needles over here Now, what I'm going to do is go through and gently press down some of these berries into the sticky resin. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be what you want it to be. Okay? And even if it's not exactly what you want it to be, sometimes that's even better. All right, so there we go. Uh, kind of looks like a fruit cake. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we're going to let this finish curing, and I will see you then. See you soon. Okay, one last thing I promise. And I forgot that I was going to do this until I looked over and saw them sitting on the side. Uh, these are the Crystal Snowflakes buttons that I got from BB Craft. And what I'm going to do is plop. And plop. And it doesn't really matter what, you know, which direction you put them. They're round. So there is no direction. And plop. 
And now it looks like a fancy fruit cake. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, all right. See you later. Okie doke. So, last step before we demold is I want to go over everything with a coat of uh, clear gloss lacquer. Um, and I don't want to spray it with anything because I don't want to go over our sparkly dudes in the middle here um, and dull them. So I have a little bit of my Duraclear gloss varnish uh, and I have added some of my Resplendent Magic uh, Chameleon Powder to it just to make it slightly sparkly. And I'm just going to go over pretty much everything. This is twofold, one to make it sparkly and two to hold the glass down. Okay, so now that that's done, we just let it dry and then we can demold. So I'll see you guys then. So who wants to take the fruitcake out of the pan? <laughs> Let's unmold this thing, shall we? Just gotta find a, I would say find a chink in the armor. Find one, make one. Gently. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. I'll show you in a minute. There it is. You two can. Here we go. Apparently, it's a slidey box. Look, it's got a little slidey doodle and a place for the slidey bits to go in and out. That's very cool. I like the way that it came out. Not seeing any big bubbles or little ones for that matter. I like the way that the colors turned out with the green on the side and the gold coming up. That looks very cool. I like the combination of the green pyromorphite and the malachite. Very nice. All right. Let's unmold the fence a bit. Alright, put my mold back the way that it's supposed to be. Everything looks good. Yay. And there it is. A fancy fruit cake. <laughs> now I guess it not it well okay so mm, confusion um, there's four hoo haws for the top of the box so I'm guessing if you wanted to you could make it a slidey one but I think it just fits right in there and I suppose they just leave that little area to make it easier to open. It fits beautifully. Everything looks really good. I like that there's this raised bit in the top of the middle. <laughs> Sounds kind of weird, but yeah. I guess if you wanted to put a fancy handle on it, you could. But there it is. A fancy fruitcake box. What do you guys think? I really like the way that those uh, sparkles.
sparkly buttons in the middle came out. And you can see in the bottom, nothing poked through, nothing, you know, there's no marring. I don't see any bubbles around the rims. I, phew, awesome. And I don't know if that's just the mold or just a testament of I'm just that damn good. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And I do hope to see you again on the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.